Now, the reason that we're targeting best carpet cleaning near me is because it's something that a person could easily enter into a Google search bar and then get all of the local results and reviews of carpet cleaners near them. So it's a very practical keyword to key yourself in for. But as you can see up here on this landing that we're going to be cleaning here today, um, it's been annihilated by the, the family dog. God bless the little four-legged creatures. They like to uh, pee all over the place. So anyways, we're going to be cleaning this all up. And then we're also going to be coming into this bedroom over here. And we've got some mess to clean up in here. This looks like it could be ink or paint. I don't know what that is. We'll, we'll play with it. A little bit of pog, a little bit of ink out, a little bit of something. And we'll probably get that stuff cleaned up no problem. Um, but the rest of it looks very straightforward. So the cleaning approach we're going to take today is we're going to begin with our phase, our three-phase cleaning process. Number one, phase one, is going through and doing a dry debris extraction. We're going to pull out up to 79-80% uh, of just the dry debris that is that's in the carpeting with a good vacuum. So once we get that up, we can then move to phase two, which is our pre-spray and soil suspension process. Um, the product, the chemistry that we're going to be using today will be sodium carbonate and peroxide. The peroxide will obliterate the urine and stuff, and the sodium carbonate is a natural deodorizer, so it will deodorize any odors that may be occurring. So that will take care of it. And then um, with the phase three process, we fire up our truck, run our lines in, and then we go ahead and we blast these carpets with 230 degree temperature water slash steam whatever you want to call it um it's the the process is known as hot water extraction but it's also known as or popular popularly known as steam cleaning steam cleaning is hot water extraction so um just in case you might get those two terms mixed up they're one of the same um so that is the process we're going to be taking today and by the time we're done i expect to see major in, improvements as far as the way this place looks, it should look brand new. All right, phase one is completed with our vacuum that we went ahead and went through, pulled out tons of debris, and uh, we are ready to rock and roll here. Moving on to phase two, which is our pre spray, is part A, and then part B is our mechanical agitation using our cylindrical brush machine. Now, this uh, the chemistry that we're using today, I already mentioned that we're going to be using sodium carbonate and peroxide. Um, but what we did, uh, when I mixed this up, I did up the dosage on the peroxide a little bit to about 5 ounces per gallon. And with this, the sodium carbonate. And what that is, is about a 20% uh, peroxide mixed in there. So it, it is a very good high concentration. So... It's going to use that to sanitize and neutralize and obliterate all the, the nasties that are in the carpeting here. So what we're going to go do now is I'm going to pre-spray it all and then scrub it using the CRB and then just show you some of the after effects that we can get just from the soil suspension process prior to the actual steam cleaning. So as you can see with the pre-spray and a soil suspension with mechanical agitation you can see quite a difference in here so this stuff is just going to continue dwelling in the carpets and brightening stuff up and making them look absolutely awesome so um, while it's going carpet cleaning near me is working out absolutely awesome so um, we're going to go ahead and go in here we're going to pre-spray probably half of the area so let's get a good before here and we'll go ahead and pre-spray probably up to this railing here and we'll just go over this well because I want to make sure that we hit up absolutely every single little spot that's here okay we're gonna go over this area again a little bit more it still looks a little light it looks like it could be a uh, coloring urine all that uh, I think it's a lighting because I can kind of see it acting weird on my camera. So, anyways, as you can see, the rest of it um, got completely obliterated and annihilated. 
Now with the peroxide, this is all sanitized, so it is germ-free, bacteria-free, and safe for your uh, your your young ones to play on. And it is all extremely green, clean, made from the best materials, and it's not going to leave any residue to attract any soils or anything in the carpet. Even in fact, after it's rinsed, the carpets will be left very clean and bright and soft. And in fact, I guarantee that these will remain cleaner, brighter, and softer than uh, any other weed carpet cleaning out there. Now for the last leg of what we're gonna be doing here. Um, this is probably the most hammered area as far as the urine and everything goes. We're gonna go ahead and pre-spray this area really good using the so sodium carbonate and peroxide and then we will run the uh, CRB over it to get it very well agitated and suspend those soils, sanitize all the germs and nasties in the carpeting. All right, you guys, the soil suspension process has been 100% complete. It looks absolutely awesome up here. We got our truck fired up, we got our hoses running in, got things anchored off, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go around and give it a, 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 a steam clean right now. Put the icing on the cake and get this place looking absolutely marvelous. It actually turned out pretty good. Now, uh, that spot over there, I think it's ink, so I'm gonna go grab some ink out here in a little bit when we're done finishing up here. I'm gonna go ahead and dab that spot out, but the rest of it turned out absolutely beautiful.